Hey guys, James and Eddie five three two here. Uh, today we're gonna be taking a look at Winston slash Eagle slash the Red Engine, etc. 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 So um, you might be looking at it and be thinking, well, that's not the Red Engine. Well, yes, it is. So um, here's the idea behind the Red Engine. So back. In the early days of the railway, Sir Totten Hat, or the Fat Controller at this point, or Director, had Edward, Henry, Gordon, two other engines, 87546 and 9462, and then he had, supposedly, two red engines. But, I do not think there are two red engines. I think there's one red engine, and that's this guy. Winston, Eagle, whatever you want to call him. I'm calling him Winston. But, um, yeah. Now, he doesn't look anything like either of them do. That's because I'm thinking Winston was an experiment. Because, think about it. He had Edward, which, if you look at Edward next to one of his supposed K2 brothers, they would look very different. Not only in simplicity versus extrinsicity, um, it would just be the, his cab size, or, or the shape of his cab rather, and just how Edward is shaped next to a K2 would look really odd. Which kind of tells me Edward's semi-experimental. Henry, well, you all know Henry. Um, Gordon, he's a prototype for the A1 a3 class, the two red engines, one being Croven, which you have seen, you can tell I think Croven is experimental. And then, I don't know about 9A462, but I'm thinking by off chance he was an experiment too, or at least a prototype. So I thought, well, Sir Tottenham seemed to collect those kind of engines, probably because they were the cheapest to get back in the day. I'm thinking he would have had the red engine be an experiment too. So getting on to the actual model here, Winston, I gave him a dark red paint job with the LMS on the side of the tender. He was made from a really torn up James, I mean look at that thing, who was my original Railway Series James. But then I got a different James, and whoo, turned out much better. So, yeah, I basically, all I did was I ripped off all of James, except for the wheels, the motor, and then I kept half the cab. And that's how I built the cab, just tape around it. And, yeah, that's how the cab worked. The firebox was not a part of the James, but... It is just cardboard. This is cardboard or a toilet paper roll, a paper towel roll. Um, yeah. And then I put supports that I think really emphasizes that he's a big engine with these things in the front. Cause it, and, like, just look at the way he is shaped. Tell me that doesn't look like a big, massive engine who should probably have smoke deflectors. Yeah. I think he looks huge. The Hero Tender was the only tender I had for that. Not the Railway Series James you guys have seen. There have been multiple iterations since that James. And the current James is obviously one of them. But I think that might be my permanent James. But this, a Hero Tender, was used on one of the variations. And I think it emphasizes the largeness of... Winston here. I wrote LMS on the side just to kind of point out that he was on rental. Um, yeah. I give him gold lining, like, similar to Murdoch, how he is. And I gave him not moving side rods like Percy, but he originally was going to have no side rods, similar to 13 and Glenn, just because the holes were gone. Yeah. These side rods and 
these side rods are actually different. These ones show more toward the bottom of the cycle, while these show more toward the top of the cycle. Yeah. I was originally going to give him the number 03, but then I realized that would kind of clash with the Henry thing. And, like, I bet the O th the third engine for the LMS, or that would have become LMS later on, was scrapped. Like, way back in the 1800s at some point. Don't quote me on that. But the face is just very simple cardboard sheet of paper painted gray face drawn on um i was kind of going for the more um soft side cuz i don't think winston would be like i don't think he would be have the same kind of arrogantness as gordon henry or james i think he would probably be closer to edward or like an in between between edward and henry just because I don't know. Just thought he would be. But yeah, Winston. Um, there was a lot more to say as I had to explain an AU of mine. But yeah, very simple engine. Simple yet complicated is a good way to put him. I decided not to give him red wheels because none of the other LMS engines in this. I don't think the other LMS engines in this livery had would have had red wheels. They would have kept it black, even though this is a very distant version of that livery. He looks a lot darker when I cover up the light, obviously, but with the light, he looks probably brighter on camera. Even if I turn the light completely away, he still looks much brighter than the than um, the paint in real life here would show, even though this is a real one. Okay, so that has been Winston the Red Engine. Yeah, whatever his official title is. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.